Hey guys, Jason here with another review. Today I'm going to be talking about the first season of That 90s Show, streaming now on Netflix. Now, if you haven't watched this season, I will be talking some spoilers. So head on over to Netflix, check it out, then come on back, and we can go ahead and talk about it. But now that we're past the spoiler warning, let's go ahead and dive right in, shall we? So I'm a 90s kid, and I kind of grew up watching That 70s Show. So the idea of a 90s show using the same characters, but their children, kind of continuing things, but also taking place in an era that I grew up in was a bit strange and also fun and exciting. I got to a point where I realized, man, now the show is about when I grew up. That's kind of crazy. <laughs> But I was really excited for this series, and then more and more stuff started coming out, and I was even more excited. And so when the season dropped Thursday, I watched a few episodes, and then I finished the rest of it yesterday. And I gotta say, I was thoroughly impressed. I really enjoyed the series. It takes place once again at the Foreman residence with uh, Red and Kitty looking after Eric and Donna's daughter, Leia, as she stays there over the summer and she gets to gets to know some some new kids from around the neighborhood and makes friends and goes on all these crazy adventures and and gets in all these hijinks much like her father and her mother did and she's very much a female version of eric which i thought was uh i thought was a a, a fun thing the new cast they're pretty endearing and you want to see more of them mostly because of how little we get of them in the first season yes they are the main part of the show but i feel like that was the one big drawback to season one was that it relied too heavily on guest appearances and cameos and the connective tissue of that 70s show i feel like every time they introduced a, a character from that 70s show faz leo you know eric donna even um, um kelso and jackie that it kind of becomes about them not the kids that the show is really supposed to be centered around but I feel like it made me think of Cobra Kai and the way that that came about, how it picked up a franchise kind of sort of not, not exactly where it left off, but a few years later and in its first season focused more on the rivalry between Daniel and Johnny than the new cast. And then as future seasons came along, they fleshed out those characters more. They got to know those characters because people weren't, just watching for the nostalgia factor or the continuation of the storylines from those movies they were actually you know watching and getting invested in these younger characters and i really hope that that 90s show gets at least a second season to do that i feel like this is the perfect show at the right time considering that they announced that Cobra Kai is wrapping up after season six. So there's going to be this vacuum of, you know, nostalgia and continuing a beloved franchise that I really think that 90s show could fill because that 70s show was pretty big back when it came out, you know, in the, in the 90s and early 2000s. It sounds like I've been dumping on that 90s show, but honestly, I really enjoyed it. I had some, it, it gave me some big laughs. I really love Kurtwood Smith and Deborah Jo Rupp as Red and Kitty, and it was so nice to see them again, kind of slipping back into those roles like they had honestly never left. And a lot of the, 
you know, returning cast members really slip back into those roles like they never left, especially Wilmer Valderrama as Fez and, um, of course, Tommy Chong as Leo. It was a lot of fun. I had a really great time, and I really do hope that we get a, a, another season, at least at the most, another few seasons. I really want this show to uh i really want this show to thrive not only because of its connective tissue to that 70s show but also it has the potential to be a really good fun quality sitcom about a bunch of teens going through some crazy crazy stuff in the 90s and you know being a 90s baby i can't help it i i i, I like i like throwbacks to the 90s <laughs> So my final verdict for that 90s show season one is going to be a four out of five. But that's just my opinion. Let me know what you thought of that 90s show down in the comments. Do you agree? Do you disagree? I want to hear from you. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to click the like button. If you want to see more videos, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell to get updates on all my future videos. You can also follow my Facebook page, J-Man's Cave, for more updates as well. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Bye.